I tried to get a hold of Zack, but nothing. His last name was withheld from the records, and even with the research I did, I could never find him. I was on my own facing Ibet, but I was sure he was just a copycat. Still, someone was out there to get me, and to get other people. I'm faced with a huge issue. Someone else has just gone missing. They were a part of the server, but no one's been betting. When that happened, I understood what I needed to do. I had to pull the plug. I shut down the server. I was sad to do it, but someone's missing and people's lives are ending. I tried to get back to my normal life after seeing everything I saw, that person walking into live traffic and seeing the copycat speed away it was all still fresh in my mind. I mean, it just happened last week after all. The police had some questions for me to help catch the killer, but he's still at large. I'm adjusting to life after the server and after betting V-Bucks. In a way, I feel responsible for all of this. If I didn't open a new server in another state, this would have never happened. A few days from then, I returned to my home. I found a letter taped to my front door. I read it. It read, Just because you stopped the server doesn't mean it stops your death. I'm coming for you. I bet on it. This wasn't over. If anything, this was only the beginning. I contacted the police and showed them the letter. They began searching my neighborhood for clues, seeing if they could get anything on this person, but they found no leads. I stayed with my friend on the other side of town for the weekend after this happened, just to be on the safe side. We were enjoying some duos on Fortnite, when I bet joined. It was time I stopped running, all of this had gone too far, I must face him, like Zack did. I bet texted something in the chat. He said, 1v1 me, first to five wins. If you win, I'll tell you who I am. I accepted his bet even though I didn't ask what would happen if I lost. It was close, but I won. It was five to three. After the lobby, he texted me his answer. He confirmed he was indeed a copycat. I got off for the night and joined my friend for dinner. I went to the garage to find an extra chair for me to sit down at the table. When I got back inside, the place was a mess. The front door was wide open and there was indication of a struggle. My friend was nowhere to be seen. I found a note on the kitchen counter. I have your friend. Go back to your house and wait on me to contact you. No police, in all caps. This ends. This needs to end. My friend had nothing to do with this. I'll get you, I bet. You imposter. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you aren't subscribed yet, be sure to do so and join the Scary Squad. I have two videos down below for you to keep the spooks on coming. Click the link in the description or this card right here to check out official Flipless Script merchandise.